When Eric Ten Hag arrived at Manchester United a year ago, there was one characteristic he wanted to add to his team above all else, leadership. The Dutchman rightly judged that the corridors of Old Trafford had been lacking strong characters in a dismal 2021-22 season and he acted swiftly to correct the issue. In came the experienced heads of Casemiro and Christian Eriksen, while Antony, Tyrell Malaysia and Lissandro Martinez also joined with the latter in particular adding fresh steel to the team. Those arrivals had the desired effect and all, perhaps bar Malaysia, have been fundamental to United's success this season, with January signings Woot Weghorst and Marcel Sabitzer adding even more of the know-how Ten Hag clearly values. The United boss spoke about the qualities the new players have added to his squad ahead of the horror performance against Liverpool in March. Ahead of that game, the United boss said, I think our team, our mentality in general is very good. I think we also have many leaders who set the mentality, who set the standards, who control the standards, who correct if necessary. I think we are happy with this process but it can always be better. That has to be the approach. It now appears the United boss wants to add to that leadership by bringing in players with a genuine passion for the club this summer. Ten Hag has moved early ahead of the summer transfer window, with United agreeing personal terms with Chelsea midfielder Mason Mount and the Reds' chief holding video calls with Atalanta forward Rasmus Hoyland. The Danish striker would no doubt be excited by the prospect of a move to United, having come out publicly as a fan of the club earlier this year. Now that you ask, I won't hide the fact that I am a huge Manchester United fan, he told Danish news outlet Extra Bladded in January. So personally, ITD be one of the biggest things for me. Of course that doesn't mean that ID turn down other big clubs if the offers come at some point. And Mount, too, has admitted to the special feeling he had when he visited Old Trafford for the first time, even going so far as to suggest that Trip is one of the reasons he loves football so much. Speaking to Amazon Prime after Chelsea's game against United in April 2022, Mount explained how much an impact an away day to support his beloved Portsmouth had on him as he got to witness his idol Cristiano Ronaldo up close. He said, I think everyone has seen the video of when I was younger basing my free kick off him. I always watched him very closely when he was at United as a young kid. I loved the way he played, his free kicks. I am a massive Pompey fan, so I went to the game when they played at Old Trafford and he scored that free kick against David James. I was actually at the game, in the corner, so I saw it firsthand and I think after that I kind of fell in love with the technique and what had done, and him as a player. So I always try to look at and work out, what can I do, to put it into my game, but now to play against him and be up against him is the journey that you go on from watching someone in the stands as a fan and then to being on the same pitch and playing against them. It's a crazy journey and yeah, that's why I love football so much. It's easy to see why the idea of following in Ronaldo's footsteps would excite Mount, while Hoyland would also bring another dimension to United's squad. The forward has already displayed his talents for Atalanta this season with nine goals in 33 games for the Italian side and the prospect of winning trophies for the club he supports could bring even more out of him. That sort of buy-in could not only strengthen Ten Hag's own position at Old Trafford, 
but add an edge to his side that has at times been lacking this season. Not least in the match against Liverpool following his claims about the leadership within the team. If United can pull off both signings, there's plenty for fans to get excited about.